How are you doing guys? I'm in the van at the moment. I think you saw in the last video. I've done a little bit to this van so I can travel around, sleep a lot overnight while sky watching. An amazing story to tell, one of the weirdest UFO stories I've ever been told. At first I thought it would wind up. Uh, I'm 99% positive it's not. I've looked into it. I've met these people and I'm, there's no sign of it being some sort of wind up or anything. So anyway, this story, I'll make it quick because it is a long story, but got to go into every little detail of it. And uh, I always thought it's a wind up, but I still think it's a wind up, but I've never seen any evidence of a wind up. But once met this girl, she, she texted me, she took UFOs, she sent me videos, what have you, it's quite a long story short, we went to some UFO watches in Todmorden, and she was there and she told me, the story about she was abducted as a child. She was eight years old, back in 1983, 2nd of June, she remembers that, was that, that was it, it was actually her birthday. And uh, she remembers being in this craft and remembers seeing other children there as well, of a, a similar age. And one thing she just really remembers is panicking, thinking she wanted to get back into her bedroom, back in her bed, because her mum and dad are going to be worrying and panicking, wondering where she was, obviously. She said, she was taken from the window which opened fully and that's where she was taken. That's what she says, that's the story and that's about it really. She was abducted and put back in the bedroom and she was. The main thing was the worry of her mum and dad wondering where she was and she'd been fascinating this subject ever since. But anyway, that was a few years ago, a couple of years went by and I got a message, or I should say this lady was from Halifax in Yorkshire couple of years went by, I got a message from this lady, I said I've got a story to tell, I haven't told anyone, not even my husband, but I really like you know your channel and, and your, uh, your Facebook page, and that's where she messaged me on Messenger, and uh, I just find it easier to tell a stranger really, but don't post on it, don't tell anyone, this really the time since she has given me permission, and uh, she hasn't even told any of her family, and it happened when she was a child, and uh, sometimes it's good to tell a stranger things, that's what it is, you, people don't tell the closest to them. And the friends and family like to tell a stranger. And uh, it took quite a while for her to get married, for me, or for her to get the confidence in me. Because I say, of course, what's your story? And I never heard from her again for weeks. I text back, text back a few times, I have no reply, no reply. And then she texts again, So you promise me you won't tell anybody, I really need to get it off my chest. I won't tell me a story, I promise, you've got my word. Of course, I'm a stranger, so does she believe me? There we go. And never heard from him again. This went on for 18 months, guys, back and forward. She won't tell me. One particular message she decided to tell me. She says she was abducted as a child. Get this, she was eight years old. She was, uh, it was 1983, and it was her birthday as well. And she lives in Todmorden which is about 10 miles away from Halifax. Now I thought this would wind up, I thought, I'm not mentioning names, but I thought this was the first girl winding me up. And uh, turns out, no, it wasn't. And uh, because she messaged me on Messenger, I did a bit of a, a bit of stalking onto the Facebook pages to see if they were friends with each other. You know, they, they both didn't have the friends set as private, so I could see the friends list. None of them were on each other's friends list. And uh, more conversation went back and forth because I thought it would wind up for time, so I got in contact with the first girl who we really did trust. And she said, No, I've no idea who it is, I don't know her. And the second girl said, I don't know the first girl. So I told the second girl, I know a girl who this has happened to. It happened on the same date, uh, the same year, and it were her birthday as well. So uh, she was as amazed as I was, and the first girl was as amazed as both of us, us two were. And still, I'm thinking it's a wind up. Still thinking it's a wind up. But eventually, they wanted to meet up. They wanted to talk about their experiences. And uh, I'm thinking of these twins and the sisters or something, and just winding me up. Because that is too much of a coincidence. But you know, they met up. I went. We all met up in this pub. And uh, come on, guys, you know if people know each other. These two girls never knew each other. The things they were talking about, they talked for hours. And there was nothing there to say they knew each other, nothing at all. They were talking about the families, friends, the jobs, what schools they went to when they were children. They didn't know each other. 
they really didn't. But still a part of me thinks there's something there because that is that is something. I've got two people contacting me who don't know each other, live ten miles apart, both says they were abducted by aliens, as I forgot to mention earlier on, but obviously by aliens. And uh they said eight year old, same night, they were the birthdays, that's why they remember the date. Uh I forgot now which second is you <coughs> You're gonna think it's a wind up, but nothing tells me it is. The best friends now, to this day, they are best friends. And we keep in contact. Let me know what you think about this story, or any other alien abduction guys. I don't quite sure what I think of the abduction side of things. But I've told this story before on the channel, <coughs> and uh, I feel a bit stupid telling it sometimes because it just seems too much. I'm not making this up guys, let me know what you think, alright? <coughs> you're getting a bit of a cough, it's very cold, you can probably see off my breath, I do what you doing. Please do like, share and subscribe, leave your thoughts, leave me a comment, I'll always reply. Alright guys, take care, speak soon.